Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is the Redbeard Grind. I'm Redbeard, and I'm going to review what I sold yesterday on eBay. And I did two sales on Poshmark. I'm going to show you one item from Poshmark. It's a, it's a good bottle you should know about. I'm going to do that after I do the eBay stuff. Uh, so, yes, I'm saving that for last. Um, so, yesterday was January 10th. And by the way, if you like these videos, hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. I'm going to keep doing these Monday through Friday. I did 24 sales, 641. Uh, total and revenue that's revenue that's not net or anything like that well, that is sorted from high to low so i'm going to do the top 10 for you so that'll take us down to the orvis tech pants i got some good stuff here and these you've already seen but i'm going to show them to you anyways they're both the same the number one and two slot um, these are peter millar shirts that i've been buying from uh, tj maxx I'm getting them for 29 bucks so it's not cheap it's not like i'm getting them for four dollars at the thrift or anything like that uh, but you go buy a bunch of them and you sell them. I've been selling them for the $60 range. This one went for $64.87. Um, and that's the tag. It's the Summer Comfort. Summer Comfort does really well. But what's really helping these move, I bought, I think I bought four and I've sold three, uh, is this pattern. It's the the cocktails and the pineapple and the beer. Those are all keywords that I use in the title. Cocktail, drinks, beer, all over print, golf. Um, the golfers like this type of stuff. And Peter Millar, new with Tag, will move for a pretty decent amount of money. Uh, and I've been selling large, extra large, medium. I tend, I try to get the bigger sizes. I don't really want to pick up the smalls and the extra smalls. But um, if you're watching my videos, you've seen them before. If not, look for that. And uh, even at the thrift, like get these things. You can get these for $4.99. It's typically not going to be this pattern. But even just the Summer Comfort plain colored shirt will sell. It won't sell for $64. it will sell for like the low to mid-20s. Um, sometimes sometimes in the high teens, but it's still not a bad flip. It's a great brand to watch out for, especially pants and, and the shorts. And this is just the same thing. This one went for 66 or 60.47 plus the shipping. Um, it's the same exact shirt, large, summer comfort. So boom, there's two right there. G-Star Raw, if you can find the 3D jeans, these these sell pretty well. They're still still selling well. I think that maybe they were doing better a little if you go back in time a little bit, but um, let me show you the tag on the inside. So G raw, this is uh, when you're comping this, just put five six, put G star raw five six two zero three D zip me. If you can find any of the jeans with that are three D, it'll say three D on there typically. I don't think I've ever seen any that didn't say three D. Um, they sell stuff that's not three D, but you're looking for the three D because that's more popular right now and sells for more money and sells faster. I listed these May 22nd, and they're already out of here. Oh, by the way, the two polo shirts, I listed those. It's been less than a week. I just put them up not too long ago. Um, but G-Star Raw is a, is a good brand, but if you find the stuff that's not 3D, it's not going to sell as fast. And then they have, they have other, other jeans that just don't move that well. Um, but it's always worth comping. Um, but that's what you're looking for. That's the information you need to know uh, if it's a good seller or not. And there's the inside tags. On the outside, you can usually tell by the button. It'll say G Star Raw on the button. And then on the back side, you've got G Star Raw Original. That's that. That's right there. And then let's see. The 3D, you kind of know that they're 3D because the, the legs are like they're kind of bowed a little bit. Um, that's and, and then the title on the inside of the jeans. But anytime you see something like this with like the double knees and zipper knees. You got to look at it. You got to know that that's something a little bit different, a little bit unique, and um, see if it's worth anything. But yeah, this is a pretty decent brand. I always, I always look at it and comp it. Um, I don't always buy it, uh, but I think I probably buy it more than I pass on it. But I don't come across it that often. I think I took an offer for like 40, 41, 42, something like that. And then with shipping, I ended up getting 51 bucks. But I bought those at Goodwill for $6.99, $7.99. These I bought at Salvation Army, and it was not 50% off day. So I paid, I want to say they were like $8.99 or $9.99. It wasn't, it wasn't um, crazy high. Uh, I usually go to Salvation Army the day before the 50% off day so they can get in there and see what inventory is good and because and, um, they're loading up the racks on, on the Tuesday and then the Wednesday is 50% day off. I go the day before and just pay up for the stuff. Um, but Walls is a really good brand. I've sold this multiple times already um, this summer. Even the winter stuff is moving. And if you can find something that's vintage, made in the USA, 
it's worth even more. This was made in China, not USA. I wish it was USA. Uh, but I sell a lot of the camo stuff, the hunters. These are some overalls that moved. I just sold some walls coveralls. They were the um, the winter ones. I, it's in my, one of my videos. Um, they were the winter coveralls, and I sold those for the fifty dollar range. I, I really don't remember. Had a little hole in it. No big deal though. Um, but stuff like this sells, and a lot of times you find them at the thrift, like hanging in the corner on a rack by themselves. There'll be a, be a bunch of them in a row. I'll usually go through them and look for Dickies, Hunters, any any of the Hunters gear, but I'll comp it before I buy it. Like even Dickies, I don't always buy Dickies, but some of the stuff, especially if it's vintage, will go, sometimes I sell these for in the $60, $70 range. So keep an eye out for stuff like that. It's usually so long that they'll put it on a rack somewhere else or they'll fold it up and put it uh, in some, they'll have some place for stuff like this. There's one Salvation Army that I go to that they put them in the women's section because they only have, they have, there was only one area to hang the, the long stuff. And I go in there and snipe stuff from there all the time. All right, Barbell. Um, I don't find this brand hardly ever, not even once a quarter, I don't think. But it does okay. I don't, I'm not real familiar with it because I don't find it that often. But um, Barbell, you can see it's worn out even. The, um, the label is worn out. I sold this thing for $29.87. I listed it May 29th, so it went fast for full asking price. And there's the tag right there, barbell. And it was just cool. Like I, the, out of the ones I have found, never found one with this pattern. It was this is like that's an arm flexing, um, which is I guess they make gym stuff, like you know stuff to wear to the gym. But this is a polo shirt. It's just really cool, and it sold fast. And you just got to look for stuff like that when you're out when you're out thrifting. All right, this was a great find. I sold these. I took an offer for 20 something. Or no, maybe I sold them for 31, 31, 38. Um, I listed these April 17th. So they've been setting for a little while, but not too long. But uh, when I saw this, I knew I was going to buy it no matter what. Just the pattern on it was, was just awesome. Um, I, I couldn't pass it up. And then the fact that it's, um, I forgot the guy's name. Marley? Bob Marley? Um, yeah, Bob Marley. I could not pass that up just because of the, it's so cool. The art on this is so cool. This is uh, from Dragonfly. I'm trying to find you a good picture. Like Dragonfly right there. I need, I need to show you this tag. No, it doesn't say Dragonfly on there. But this company does okay. I, when I comp this, there's all kinds of different patterns and stuff that are really cool. Uh, some of the stuff sells better than others. This one did pretty well. I really like these. I almost kept them for myself. Uh, so 31 bucks. I bought these at... Uh, what was it called? The Family Thrift Center for, I think, $2.99. The Family Thrift Center is great for everything except jeans. They mark their jeans way up, but the shirts, shorts, swimsuits in the Houston area, you can find stuff for $1.99, $2.99, any day. It doesn't matter. Um, all right. Wrangler George Straight Jeans sold for $24 and some change. I pick up Wranglers occasionally. These sell slow. They've been setting since May 8th. Um, so it's not that's not too terribly long, but the George Strait stuff I'll pick up occasionally when I need inventory, but most of the time I just pass this up. I don't always pick these up because they're typically slow sellers, and I don't typically get twenty five dollars for them. Usually I go for the low twenties, high teens. Uh, so I'm happy with that sell, but that's the only tag you're going to see. That's in the waist the waistband there, and then that's on the fly. Um, and it, right now for Wranglers, if you see Wrangler Retro, anything that says Wrangler Retro, it's going to say Wrangler Retro right here, real big in white print. That's what's selling the uh, the relaxed boot, the straight boot, slim boot. There's all kinds of styles, but anything with boot sells the best. Uh, those are flying off the shelf for the high 20s to low 30s. And uh, you could probably get in the mid 30s to high 30s if you want to set on it for a little while. All right, some more Peter Millar. These I got at the thrift for $4.99 at Goodwill. There's your brand, Peter Millar. This is not summer comfort, it's just some normal Chino, Chino stores. You want to put golf in your title. Chino performance. Um, and I sold these for $26 and some change. They sold fast, listed them June 7th, and they're already out of here. It's the second time I sold these, actually. The first guy they bought them, they didn't fit them, so I sent them back. But they, they just flew right off the shelf again. So it's a really great brand. If you can find the pants, the shorts, um, just comp it though. Don't, I, with the polo shirts, I'm, I pretty much stick to just the summer comfort because there's so many out there. I don't really pick up anything else. And, and then I'll pick up any of the pants or the shorts without comping because I know I can move it. But I always advise you to comp everything. Make sure you know what you're getting into, especially if you're new. Um, 
athletes. These are, I, I came across a bunch of these at one time at Goodwill and just picked up a handful of them to test them out. And this is one of those. This has been listed since March 21st. Sold for 21 bucks. It's not bad. I got these for $4.99 a piece. I think this is the last of them. I had picked up, I don't know, three, four, five of them. It's not a brand that I'm after. If I see this, I just pass it. I don't even look it up anymore. Maybe it'll get more popular with some time as time goes on, but they're like a performance company. Uh, it feels really nice. It feels almost like a Lululemon, but not quite as uh, high quality. Like there's just the hardware and stuff on it's just not as high quality as like a Lululemon or a, a Viore. But yeah, it's a decent sell for a $4.99 purchase. All right, number 10. Number 10, this was new with tag, so that's why I picked it up. This is Orvis Tech Pants. I don't typically pick up Orvis. Uh, these probably were like uh, from Costco or something like that. Um, but yeah, Orvis Tech Pants. I just comped it because it was new with tag. It had a decent sell-through rate. I was trying to get 25, sold them for 22. And they're out of here. Show you the tags inside. Orvis is a brand that I, I mostly pass up. I don't um, pick them up that often. Or is there a little zip pocket? Oh, and they even had some issues. A little snag. I hate it when something new has a snag or an issue, but it happens. Um, okay, so if you stuck around, there's a I got a great brand to show you uh, from Poshmark. I had two sales on Poshmark yesterday, which totally sucks, but this vintage lawman jeans is what I want to show you. Um, and thanks for sticking around till the end. Uh, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, please, and um, uh, look for these. This is something that I've, I've never found this style of lawman jeans. I find lawman, it's not even a monthly find, just like quarterly, like a couple times a quarter. And it seems like when I do find it, I'll find two or three of them at the same place. Like someone just donated their collection. But this is similar to um, Rocky Mountain jeans. I do find Rocky Mountains like about weekly or at least every other week. And those sell for 35 to 45 really fast. The vintage law or the lawman jeans sell for about the same price, 35 to 45, but they stick around longer. They don't sell as fast, but they'll still go for good money. You buy them for $6.99, $7.99, and then sell them for the 35 to $45 range. These, I just, I when I comped it, I really couldn't find anything similar to it, so I put them at 80. But it's because of this um, this little zigzag seam on there and all the, uh, the buttons that are on it. I mean, this is, it's just really a cool style. It's bareback. Uh, let me show you the just some close-ups so you can see. Like if you see anything unique like this, you gotta check it out. You gotta look at it. Like colors that are flashy, something that's different, something that feels like it's a, a heavier material or a, a higher quality material. Like look at it, look at the brand and see if you can't figure out if it's worth money if you're looking for to resell. But there's your badge or the uh, badge on the back of the jeans. There's a close-up of the front, just really cool looking. It's inside, Lawman, relaxed fit. And a lot of times the uh, when I find the Lawman stuff, the tags on the inside are just so worn out, like you can't even read it. I don't know if it was made in the US, made in China, made in Mexico. Most of the stuff I find from them are made in the US or Mexico, but I think I have seen uh, some China stuff, but it still sells. But yeah, that's it. That's the, the bolo at the end of the video. I appreciate you hanging in there. It's Tuesday, we've got some more videos to do throughout the week. I'll keep them coming. And I hope to see you at all of them. Have a good day.